I hold it's Piotr. Let's have a quick look at Batman No Man's Land Omnibus Volume 1. Previously we had the Omnibus with Road to No Man's Land. Let's see what it contains. Quite a lot of issues. We can go under the dust jacket. A road to the Wasdon, similar to this one, with the ruins of Gotham. Other color, but for sure. You can see the ruins. Here we don't have much. So let's see. How it looks in full. Here we have the ruins of Gotham in full view. There is an eye, you ask me. Well, I have it in the middle of Omnibus. The eye is very, very... But yes, it is. Not very big. But still, it's huge Omnibus. But we won't lose a lot, a lot of art that is plus. It's one of those stories that I really, really like. I had them, I had it in trade paperbacks. Still have them in trade paperbacks. Let's have a look. At least we have the page counting here. That is a plus for so huge omnibus. Batman comes back to town, that is split between different his enemies that escaped from Arkham. Here we have the map, who owns what part, even Batman has his own part, or otherwise Batman people, we may say that way, police department. We have, we can say, two bad girls. Here is the first one, and later on we'll have other one. You can see I need to hang it by my hand here. It's so huge, Omnibus. We have Azrael in use. It's all about the fall of the city and how people inside had stayed there because the uh, US government was telling them to go out. They are still there. No man's land. Here we have the training of second bad girl. Superman losing his fate. How to help all those people that are staying there. Poison Ivy transformed. And of course, Harley Quinn. We have the debut, debut and comic format in this own use.
how she came from TV series to comic. Catwoman. So it's a lot of enemies, allies of Batman and his Bat family fighting to keep this city somehow alive. Then at the end we have covers. There is there will be a probably omnibus number two as you can see on the right. So I'm very very happy to have it. It's big omnibus, it won't be easy to read it. But it's one of those stories that show you that stories about Batman can be done good. You see at the that's from the perspective when it was done, but he is a detective fighting for this city. So this is something that defines him and I like that kind of Batman. That is why I got this omnibus and waiting for the second final omnibus showing No Man's Land true enemy, who he was, what he was planning to do. So it will be a pleasure to wait for it and have it in collection.